Hey, what's going on? Back on the radio podcast. I want to give a shot to everybody that follow me on all the social media platforms. And I'm back on here. Give a shot to all you beautiful women that leave me feedback from all the states that y'all in. I get a lot of feedback on my voice. A lot of ladies say, ooh, you sound sexy. Your voice is nice. <laughs> so, hey, I appreciate that. I'm not an egotistical guy. I'm very cool, laid back. So, I do appreciate those comments. And a lot of females, y'all leave me a lot of feedback. Y'all leave me comments on the photos and videos and things like that. So, I appreciate all of that. And for the ladies that's here in Atlanta, then what you waiting on? You can leave me an inbox message. We can always meet and greet. I am single and I'm going to be single until I find a real woman. All I need is one that can show me that she's really ready to settle down. And that's really the theme of this video right here. Now, I have personally dated women and I do want to give a shout out to the women that I usually do the videos with. So give a shout out to Tam and all the other women that talk about dating and love and all the guys that I see that talk about dating and love. And we're going to do that podcast coming soon and it will be on Facebook live coming soon. But let's go and talk about this topic here. And I'm really getting personal here because as a single man dating here in Atlanta, when I'm out here meeting women, I'm looking to meet a woman that A, I'm attracted to. I love slim, petite women. That's just my preference. And so if I find a woman that I'm physically attracted to, then I'm going to be drawn to her. It's going to be a natural thing. All right. And most women like, oh, you, you all up on me. You, you love, you must really like me. Yeah, I do. All right. And it's, and it's before I even get to know a woman's personality because I'm physically attracted to you. I love small boutique women and I'm hoping that you have a good personality to go with that. And so when I meet women that I'm attracted to nice, the shape, whatever, and then she has a good personality. She's fun. She's goofy. She's silly. She's easy to talk to. And that would draws me and that would, that would keep me coming back to her. That would make me want to see what else is, you know, what else she has going on, what else she brings to the table. And if the sex is good, then oh, hell yeah, I'm definitely coming back and I'm definitely coming back for a purpose. See, I'm not looking to waste a woman time and the women that I have dated in Atlanta can attest that I never wasted their time. Now, most of the women that I've dated, they gon' they always talk shit and I and it's just joking to me. You know, we go back and forth. It's just playful banner. And that's what you have to have in a in a kind of relationship if it develops to that. You have to have that quick wit, playful, silly, goofy nature kind of personality going back and forth. And I love women that have that kind of personality. You know, we can joke. We can joke about whatever. And it's all good. But when we get in that bedroom, you know, we're going to fuck like never before. And when we go out and have a good time here in Atlanta, we're going to have a good time. Go out, shop, go to a nice restaurant, uh, we get dressed up and go dancing, whatever. And I like women that have a a bigger mind. Now, I grew up in the hood. I grew up in Perry Homes here in Atlanta. So it don't matter what women grow up in. It don't matter her living conditions. I don't judge a woman for what she have or don't have. And I did a, a post on Facebook and I said that if if I judge a woman by how many kids she has or where she live or her living situation, then I would never get to know the woman for who she is and to me that's a real ass post because it's real because most of the women i met if i would have said oh and i ain't gonna date her because she got kids or oh, i ain't gonna date her because she don't drive if i would have had that mentality then i would have never met some of the beautiful women that i have met and dated and when i'm in sometimes when you lose contact with a woman or you know we take a break or whatever and then that woman come back most of the women that I talked to that I dated, they always come back and have positive reflection. We always have good memories and joke and shit. Or we reconnect and make new memories. <laughs> if you know what I mean. You feel me, right? Right. And it's a good thing. And women that have kids know 
that I never disrespected them or their kids. I treat their kids like they're mine because I don't have kids. And I mean that in a plural sense. I don't have kids, plural. I just have one child. And so when I meet women that have kids or have sons or have daughters, then I'm going to treat them like they're mine, especially sons, because I don't have a son. I have one daughter. And so when I meet women and women come back and tell me, hey, my son asked about you or my son said he going to do this because you told him to do that when he get older. And this see, that's what a man is supposed to do. Teach the new generation what they should be doing while they're growing up, even if they don't have their father or a father figure. If you're going to be in a woman's life, you be that father figure, you know, even while you're dating the mother. And that's what I did with the women that I dated. So, of course, yeah, we had good times. We went out. Of course, we fuck, drink, smoke, party, listen to music, all that good stuff. All that. But in the same token, the women that had kids that I dated, I treated their kids with respect. So it never, I never judge a woman for that. And I never will. All right. So I'll be back for part two.